What's up, everyone? I thought we would do a live stream now that I am back inside of my house. Oh, guys, it feels so good to be in here right now. Oh, YouTube notified me. Fancy Van Life is officially live. So, yeah, guys, I, uh, I'm freaking back in my house. <laughs> this is so crazy to be seeing this background on a live stream. Lately, the live streams have been in a rental van or my goodness. Ah, here you guys come. So good. You're welcome. Uh, so many people like, congrats on getting the van back. We're not quite out the gate yet, but pretty damn close. Uh, you guys are so full of love. This is beautiful. Well, someone just say they're from, they're in Plyto, Carmen. Hola from Plyto, Carmen, Mexico. Wicked. Uh, that's a place I'd love to be right now. 100%. So the weather's getting a little bit cold over here. We actually getting snowflakes right now. Little baby snowflakes, but it was cold as F today. And uh, well, it's snowing outside right now. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll get into some winter camping videos. I've missed out on all of that stuff. So getting a good snowfall dump tonight might be kind of fun way to wake up tomorrow morning now that I'm back in my van living on the streets. Felt really good last night. So the video I recorded today, I never ended up getting finished. So I figured we would go live instead anyway. So you'll get today's video tomorrow. But yeah, I felt good. I slept at Costco. Awesome. Time to bug out. You said that right. Just about time to bug out. We're still waiting on the tuner. So that's why today's video never made it up on time. I um I was hoping to get that the tuner would come in and I would get to we get the tuner done and I would wrap up the video, edit it, and edit it, throw it up for you guys today. But the tuner never arrived. Well, it did arrive. It's here on the island, but Pure Later screwed up on the delivery. So I have to go pick it up from Pure Later tomorrow. Alignment done yet? Yes, the wheel alignment is completely finished. I didn't film any of that stuff because, well, it doesn't seem very exciting. But, yeah, the wheel alignment's all done. The tires went from being this way. They literally, like, where's my camera? It's weird on this. I'm on the laptop. The tires were like this when I pulled it in. Now they're, <laughs> there you go, straight. Uh, they were off pretty bad. The wheel alignment was pretty wonky. Did this just start? Yes, Lindsay. The live stream has been up for three minutes. That's it. Three minutes. Ugh. Oh. Whew. Uh, Mike Chrome. Uh, Mike got me a uh, sent me a package. Mike, I got you, I got your email today too. I will try to run up there and go grab that today. Arizona chilling. Thanks for the congratulations. I should throw a party. In, I guess this is my in my van party. Oh, Kim Jones. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate. Oh, thanks for thanks for the treats for cruising. I was like, yeah, Kim Jones gave me a gift, but nope, it's for cruisy. <laughs> Anything planned for the summer? Yeah, I. Oh, hold on. That's Jeremy from Well Tech Designs. <laughs> uh, Jeremy from Well Tech Designs just, just texted me and said, stalking you on your live. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, we got the leaf springs in. Um, they came in yesterday. So um, I do have some questions, though, Jeremy, about installing the leaf spring stack because we were looking at the leaves today. And uh, on the end of the leaves, there's this little clamp thing that goes around it, and there's no room to get the extra one in there. So I don't know. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a phone call tomorrow. I'll fry you off. Fry you off a text message. Sean Blake, thanks for the super chat. 
Congrats on getting your home back. How does it feel? It feels awesome. It'll feel 10 times better once we get that tune put in here, but man, it feels good. Really good. And these bumpers front and back just set the whole van off. Today I installed uh, two seven inch round off-road lights on the top, right where the bumper has got that little arch. Put the two round ones there and I put two small little cubes in the in the bottom. Oh my gosh, amazing. Looks really, really good. JP Hanks, congratulations to my favorite snow Mexican and his dog. <laughs> I love that. That's hilarious. Oh, Brandy gifted a YouTube membership to somebody. Who got the membership? Uh, Georgina, uh, you were just gifted a YouTube membership from Brandy. I love it when you guys do that. It's so awesome. Then people get to come over there and see kind of some of the things that are happening in our world in real time. Oh, star of the show, just realized I'm talking to you. Hi, buddy. How are you? Hey, Cruzy. How are you, bro? He was like, Dad, who are you talking to? No, come up. Come on, up, up. Come on, buddy, up, up. You got it. There you go. Now you can hang out with all of us. You hang out with all of us. My plans for the summer. So, <clears throat> hi, buddy. Come on, buddy. Who are you? Mm, feels good to be back in the house, doesn't it? Yeah, feels good, doesn't it? Uh -huh. uh, my plans for the summer. I think I'm going to head north. I'm pretty positive I'm going to head north. Um, I kind of feel like I need to redeem the trip that I started in the summer before the transmission went. So I'm thinking maybe we go back... That's you, bro. Right there. What's wrong? Here he goes. He thinks he's not getting any attention. I'm talking to you, buddy. All this blah, blah, blah is all just me talking to you. Hmm? You're my boy, buddy. You're my boy. So, yeah, my plan is to probably head to northern BC. Oh, thank you, bro. Uh, head up to northern BC, then maybe head into the Yukon. <laughs> And then uh, I got to come back down here because my daughter's graduating, I think in June or July. And then we're taking back off again where I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jeffrey just said, I hey, think Cruzy has an opinion about this trip. I think Cruz just is be stoked to be in the front seat driving anywhere. It's one of his favorite things. As soon as I put him in the van, jumps right up in his little, in his little uh, sidekick seat and off we go. Uh, what kind of parts are going to be in stock at the new store? So vantoys.com will carry everything van related. So, you know, like everything from off-road lighting to fridges to inside lighting and fans and pretty much anything you could imagine that you would need for van life is what this store is going to be carrying. It's just all van life related products. <laughs> Cruzy. Why don't you look at them instead of biting me? Hey, mm -hmm. look at them instead of biting me. He's gnawing on my hand. He just wants attention. Hey, he just wants attention. <laughs> Crazy people really love you, bro. I think everybody's here mainly for you. And I've accepted that fully. Ah, uh, Bruce Fan Life Jr., what's up, buddy? Hi, when are you when are your hi? Where do you get your shirts from? What's the best quality? We're still experimenting with, with shirt printing places, and we're definitely still experimenting with types of shirts and quality of shirts. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so I I don't know. Like we've we're, we're we've been using this shirt company, and I think we might try a different one on the next round until we get the chance to to start making our own in house here. But yeah, 
Will I be doing fender flares? Yes, possibly. I don't think I'm going to do them this season. I think I might wait until the winter time uh, to do to do fender flares. But I think doing the flares are definitely a good idea because my tires do come out probably about an inch outside of the fender. Uh, David, thanks for the super chat. When are you expanding gas tanks? <clears throat> so... We, it won't be anytime soon. It'll be before I leave on my summer travels though. I'm in no rush to put the gas tanks in. Are we doing the external fuel tanks? Yes, we are. But those will need to be in before I take off in May for summer travel. So we definitely got some time. Ronald, why don't I come to America? Because Canada is so freaking big and I still have tons of this country to explore before we start bouncing down to the USA. But at some point right now i uh canada's holding me here i just feel feel like i want to explore here will that change your springs i'm not sure what you're asking are you converting to vegetable oil my van is gasoline and not diesel only diesels can run on vegetable oil <clears throat> Uh, Iron Wolf was like, it's cheaper in the USA. A lot of you're using Canadian currency. It's not. <laughs> no freaking way. Our Canadian dollar is only worth 85 cents in the US or 83 cents in the US right now. So, yeah. Uh, just, uh, j I don't know. I don't know how your name is. Just, just Colin. Um, are you worried about how loud your van is and how that will affect your stealthiness when you park at night? I, you must be fairly new around here. I think stealth is a silly word. I think stealth is like what I think, <laughs> what I think stealth is, he just wants attention. Stealth is not about the vehicle you live in. It's not about what's on the outside of it. It's not about hiding the roof fence and not having anything camper van related i think stealth is about people not seeing you on the inside so blackout curtains cover up all your windows make sure that there's no light bleed on the outside from on the inside so as long as people don't see you in the inside that is stealth i've been in this crazy jacked up built out camper van with my youtube channel logo all over it on the sides on the back zero problems at all so the whole stealth thing it's just don't let don't leave your front window open when you're out there somewhere dark and people can see you making dinner. Shut your curtains. Keep that part of it stealth. <clears throat> Danielle, oh my oh my gosh, how much did I miss? Uh oh, we're only 13 minutes in, so you're good to go. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not worried about how loud the vehicle is when it comes to stealthiness. Doesn't make a difference. Mindful Forest, my van does sound awesome. I 100% agree. It's got a totally different sound. Yeah, it's nice. Lindsay Webb said, USA is not cheap. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Brad's like, my girlfriend is obsessed with you. <laughs> Sorry, Brad. <laughs> I, I've, had, I've had people come up to me in grocery stores and they're like, hey, you're the YouTube guy. I'm like, yeah, I'm the YouTube guy. And he goes, I, I got I got a problem with you. I'm like, oh, what's the problem? He's like, you're in the bed with me and my wife every single night. Every single night, I have to lie beside my wife and listen to your voice. It's so funny when I hear those things. It's awesome. <clears throat> is my van a lot heavier now? Yes, Roxanne, my van is definitely a lot heavier. Um, I probably should take it through the scale. There's a scale not far from my other shop. So I should take it through there and kind of see how much extra weight the bigger tires and the front and back bumpers added to the vehicle. But when it comes to like the vehicle itself, like the rating on the side of the van, my van has a fully underdone suspension. So I got Welltech designs, um, full six inch or five inch lift kit in the front. It's the Baja grocery getter and the full leaf stack from, from Welltech in the back. So my van can handle the weight because of the all redone suspension. And this van is regular 
um, a 250 series, but I have a but I have an F350 series rear differential, so it, it can handle way more weight than the than the one that came with this van. So my van's got all the upgrades to handle the weight. Now it's got the bigger engine to handle the weight. Oh, Grizzly, I got moved, bro. I thought we'd sit there so everybody could see you, and now they don't have. Maybe it's better that they don't see my face. You think they probably prefer not to see my face? You think? <laughs> so yeah, I'd be curious to see how much my van weighs. Any updates on the tuner? The tuner is here on Vancouver Island. I go pick it up tomorrow at noon. <laughs> Bruce Van Life Jr. But is it fast? Hopefully after the tune gets in this thing, it'll have a little bit of oomph. Right now, it's lacking power in a major way. Um, because right now, I have a 5.4 liter engine, and the computer is treating it like it's a 4.6, so it's suffering. Once the tune gets in, it should correct everything. And the really cool thing about the tune guy, he's in Red Deer, Alberta. Uh, they're called Power Tune Canada. <laughs> The good thing about the tune is he said he wrote me a basic tune, which is on the chip that's coming here. So we plug it in. It should be good to go. Then he said he, we can run some data logging so I can take it out for a drive. He can read the data logs on his end because he can because I guess what happens is I can just click click upload or sync. And then he gets to see it's funny. He just picked notice my thumb. Do the thing, right? Does the heart somehow. Hey, oh, anyway, um, yeah, so he, he does some data logging so he can see my engine performance on his computer in Alberta, and then he can rewrite me a new tune comparing the changing up whatever he's seen from my driving records. You know what I mean? So this would be a little bit of a process kind of going through trying to iron things out and ironing out all the kinks from the from the engine swap. But the tuner guy is a freaking rock star, and he kept telling me, "Don't worry, man. Well, don't worry. We'll, we'll we'll get you going. We'll get you everything you need. And then if you want more power, we'll write you a tune for that. You want you you want a tune for a towing? We'll write you one for that. So what I really, really, really want out of a tune is I want one that I can hit a hill somewhere on a high elevation and have no problems. Just click on that certain tune number, and we just climb like just a freaking beast." Because I've uh, had the 4.6 in a heavy van, and you clearly my engine was struggling because it was half dead. It uh, it was really a hard push on some of those hills. Oh, we got some super chats. Uh, Bree and me travel more dead fish for the star of the show. Cruzy, someone gave you some dead fish, bro. Hey, someone give you some dead fish. He's looking at me. He's like, where are my dead fish at? Where it at? Where it at, Dad? <laughs> uh, thank you for that. Uh, Tom, thanks for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Matthew, that, that's awesome of you, man. Big time appreciation. Uh, what's up, guys? How do you like setting up? How do you, how do you like setting up? so higher in the snow now with the bigger tires oh, okay so sorry it looks like there's a spelling mistake in there the van's definitely a little bit taller for damn sure um we because we went from 33 inch tires to 35 inch tires it's definitely added some some chunk and uh yeah it's a bit bit bigger of a step up uh robert thanks for that so happy for you what's the hp horsepower increase I don't know. These are some things that I can talk to with the tuner guy. I'm, I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. All I know is I just, my van's running and that's all I care about. All I care about is I don't have to sleep in my shop anymore. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> What's up, Andrew from Massachusetts? Hey. You just burp? Well, that's popping, bro. Look at the dog hair all over me. It's all over me. Hey, what's going on? You getting enough attention? <laughs> Silly guy. Uh, Emmanuel, when will the work start on the... 
I'm taking my camera back. Since you're going to be in a huff, I'm taking my camera back. When will the work be starting on the ambulance? It is not getting any work at all. At all. That ambulance is parked. I re He's in a huff. Um, because my engine blew, that took all the money out of that ambulance project. So the ambulance is on pause until next winter. It really, really sucks because my heart was set. <laughs> this guy. My heart was set on working on that ambo this winter. That's all I wanted. I wanted to come back and just work on that ambo and kind of make tons of progress. And then my engine blew. That went the budget for the ambo. So that ambo sitting until next winter. Uh, Justin and Christina's RV life. Welcome to the live stream, you guys. Ever considered on putting some running boards on the side of your van? Yes, I have definitely. Um, there's still some rust on the underside between my two wheels. I'm going to deal with when it really starts to show through that, through that tyro coating that's on the outside. Once it starts to damage that in that section, then I'm going to chop it all out. So it could be years from now before that ever rusts rust through. But when it does, then we're going to redo the bottom side properly this time. Order all that bottom stuff, the back panel, the front panel on those bottom rocker panels from Ford, the support bracing, redo it all. At that time, I will probably do the, the side steps on the back of the ambo or sorry, on, on the side of the van or like... Um, what they call rock sliders, like those little bars that go across that prevent any rocks from hitting up on the side of the body. Those make great steps to get into. Stop and give Cruzy some love. He's demanding it. I know, right? Look at this guy's Cruzy. We're trying to what? What? What do you need? You want a kiss? No, <laughs> you see that? He's moved his head. Can they see you? They can't even see you. Sorry, guys. I uh, whoa, because <laughs> my my chats take up half the screen. I can't see what you guys see. Sorry. <laughs> Do I ever camp with subscribers? Yeah, so that's one of the things I'd like to do a couple more times before we leave. This is gross, by the way. I bought these at Costco. This is the most disgusting root beer I've ever had. It's funky. I don't really like it. Um, so yeah, so we've done some campouts before where I've just put it out on my my YouTube channel there and said, Hey, if anybody wants to come camping with us for two or three days, let's go. Um, and we've taken like a five people out on that one trip. I think it was three of them out on another. I'll probably like to do that again a couple more times before I leave out on my road trip. Once this van is in the clear, it's fun to do that. And then some local people that are van lifing around here or people that have camper vans at home can come camp out with us. It's fun. It makes some really good content on YouTube too. Like it's fun for you guys because we get to see what other vanners are doing and take a look inside of some of their homes. Sorry. I lost my chat box. George is in Baja, Mexico. That'll be another nice place I'd like to go. A lot of people here, when, when am I coming to the States? That's my number one question. <laughs> Maybe Cruz needs to go out. But Cruz is okay. He just needs some attention. He's hungry too. It's 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 both of our dinner times. Alaska Volkswagen Adventures. Wicked. Uh, I love it that you guys remember Disco, my other bulldog. So Craig just said, love Cruz, but Disco was cool. Disco was awesome. Just because my thumb was there, I thought I gave it the thumb. <laughs> There's a little love for Disco. Hey, so good. One opinionated queen. Thank you for that. 
Hey, Chrome, your face looks more relaxed now that the beast is up and running. Do you feel an increase in G-Force with the new engine? Much respect from the USA. So right now, because there's no engine tune in here, no, there's no increase of power. This thing kind of feels like the 4.6 felt because my computer is treating it like a 4.6. So it definitely lacks a lot of power. But the tune that's coming in tomorrow should fix that. If not, the tuner guy will tweak it a bit until it's got the, got the G-Force that I'm looking for. Garo, I think that's how you pronounce that. When you move into the new shop, will you be moving out of the old shop? So as of right now, I don't know. So this shop is going to have a lot of products and merchandise in it where that other shop is a good place to keep like the ambulance. Because if I were to bring the ambulance over here, that's one bay that's rendered useless. Nobody can use it. So and if I park my van in there, there's two bays. And then the third bay in, 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 the, in the new shop is not a car bay. That's for shipping products up. That's for the pallet. Sorry, that's for the forklift. So, yeah, that's where we're kind of debating on keeping the other shop. <clears throat> Lauren had brought up the idea about him taking the shop or Lauren taking part of the shop. Um, but, yeah, we're... I still have that shop until October, so I've got lots of time to think about it. Has that you pronounce the name? Meriday? Mir Miraday? Miraday Fraser. Thank you. Towards dinner. Awesome. That's the first thing I'm doing after I leave here is going to grab some food and making Cruzy some dinner. I'm starving. I should have ate before I started the live stream, but I wanted to start a live stream before it got too late. So it's 7 p.m. here. Uh, Andrew, Andrew Tassini just, sorry. Andrew Tassini said, Chrome advertisements cutting in on the live stream. Is that normal? Yes, that's normal now on YouTube. So now YouTube runs um, ads during live streams now, where before it was just the straight live. Now YouTube will run an ad probably every 10 or 15 minutes or 20 minutes or so they'll run an ad, which is, which is you know, like it kind of sucks for you guys on your end, but it's good for us on our end because live streams don't always drive revenue towards us. So having the ads put in there by YouTube really helps to kind of bring at least some income in during the live stream, which is kind of cool. Um, that's a brand new feature. They just started to do that. Love what you're doing. What are you going to do about those taillights? So I got a new set of taillights in at the shop today. I didn't like them. So I ordered a few more from Amazon. We're still trying to figure out how and how I want to do that with the taillights, but this thing definitely does need an, an extra set of taillights for sure. Haven't figured it out yet. I went into a local trailer place here to kind of see what they had, but they didn't have any options for me. Snack while you live stream, we won't judge. I don't have anything in here. Or do I? I haven't gone grocery shopping yet. Oh, I do, I do. Thanks for the idea. <clears throat> Sorry for getting so close. Hey, we got some Greek yogurt. How do you guys eat your yogurt? I just like hold the four pack and I just smash them all. Let's give Cruzy some. Come here, bud. You good? So good. This is Costco brand. Daniel, Daniel Malloy says, "We're Nima Hubby, you're so happy you're back on the road." 
All right, you guys from Ontario. Awesome. Yeah, it feels good to be back in here, man. Really, really good. <laughs> Mon73 wants some feet pics. You want some feet pics? Here you go. Boop. Don't put those on feet finder. <laughs> you guys want feet pics? You guys have to go to my OnlyFans. <laughs> I don't have an OnlyFans, just you know. It's a good idea. Sam's Club is better. We don't have a Sam's Club in Canada. Mm -mm. They're showing ads every few minutes. It shouldn't. They shouldn't be showing that many ads to you guys. It should be like every 10 to 20 minutes. That would suck if they're throwing them out there that often. On your SOK batteries, do you have a ballpark price for shipping in Colorado? I think those 206, I think those 206 amp hour batteries are $600. So right now, if you guys are looking for SOK batteries, right now I've got SOK batteries on sale in the USA only. Like this is a part of my van toys company that I'm starting, but they're having a sale right now, so I got some stock here that we, that we can get rid of. Um, the 206 amp hour SOK batteries are $649 USD in the in the USA only, and shipping is about $75 per battery um, in the US. So, which is a smoking deal. $649 each. Those batteries retail normally for $1,200 USD. Smoking good deal. So if you guys want them, email me at chrome, advancedivanlife.ca. Sorry, stuff in my face. Yeah, the sale ain't going to last long. Once the American warehouse is out of stock on this 206 amp hour, batteries, the sale's over. So I don't think they're going to last long. Sorry, guys, I'm reading comments. My, my comments just like reloaded. <laughs> I missed tons of them. Do I still have stock on the 206 amp hour batteries? Yes, we do. 649 bucks. Ships out of the USA warehouse to you if you're in the US. And they ship out pretty quick. Like if you order today, the shipment will probably go out tomorrow or the next day. Shipping's pretty fast. How much in Canada? Those batteries are not available in Canada. Canada has no stock in the warehouse. I have the 206 amp hour. I bought a whole pallet full. I have the 206 amp hour marine grade plastic heated batteries, but they retail in Canada for $1,395. They're not on sale. I mean, depending on how many you guys want to buy, if you're in Canada and you're interested in those batteries, email me. But yeah, just because the, that's probably the hottest battery that, that they have right now. They're out of stock in the USA. They're out of stock in Canada. Even the SOK factory is is sending people to me who have contacted them through, through their website. They're sending them to me to buy those plastic ones. <laughs> Kim Jones, $10 on the Super Chat to sponsor the next live, to, to sponsor the next shower scene on my channel. Kim, you're hilarious. <laughs> mm. Oh, guys, this is so good. AJ, build a low rider. I will one day. Once I get that ambulance finished, maybe we'll take that on as a fun project on the Van Toys channel. Maybe we'll build a low rider van. Yeah. Van Toys has a channel, but nobody's. I got no videos on it yet. Soon. I've never eaten on a live stream. This is so rude. Bruce, the lowrider van, you got that. Hmm, guys. This is how you eat. <laughs> this is how you eat yogurt. 
Hold on, bro. Let me put a scoop on the floor here for you, buddy. Hold on. Ah. You cruisy. Do some yogurt for you, buddy. Move. Don't. It's on the floor, bro. Get it. <laughs> cruisy likes yogurt. We don't mind that you're. We don't mind that you're eating. We watch. We eat while watching you. No, but you, I have to talk. <laughs> oh, guys, man, this yogurt's good. Hmm. At least this is like not chips or anything. Because imagine eating chips on a live stream. Like crunch, 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 crunch. Please help my buddy Scott learn how to manif manifest. I know a few Scots. <laughs> Funny. Never take a dump on a live stream. How do you guys know I'm not sitting on my toilet right now? I could be. <laughs> How do you know I've never have? Hmm. Chrome, pay attention to Patty. What did Patty say? Hi, Patty. Um, someone just said, at the new shop, you will love having a shower to use. Oh, yeah, man. At the new shop, especially these, like Lauren's been out here now for like a dozen days. I think they only had like one shower because we don't have water at my shop right now because the hose outside is broken. I think he showered once or twice in that whole time. So, yeah, having the shower at the new shop would be mighty beautiful. Amazing Jays, thank you for that. Chrome, your next coffee, your favorite donut. Uh, you are the reason that I like YouTube still. Ah, oh, that's wicked. I love that. that. That's a good compliment. And I'm changing the name to Vancouver. And I'm changing the name of Vancouver Island to Chrome Island. There is an island already out here called Chrome Island. Google it. There's an island just off the shores here. On Vancouver Island called Chrome Island. I want to go there. But there is a lighthouse on it. So I'd have to contact the government or whoever takes care of lighthouses and see if I can get over there to go film. That'd be pretty cool. I want to go to Chrome Island. What's my favorite yogurt? Vanilla. This one. The vanilla one was good. Hmm. How did you tell me I missed three super chats? Hold on. Kim Jones. Oh, why won't it, it won't let me go up any farther? Oh, I'm sorry to whoever gave super chats. I'm sorry, you guys. I hate doing that. That's why I always try to make sure I read the super chats. But sometimes my my screen will just uh, get stuck reading one. Then my screen will refresh and then it'll just go just rip up to the top. So I'm sorry for whoever left the super chats. Thank you. Swillifornia. Your van looks badass now. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a whole new van, man. It's like it deserved it. I think after all that me and this van have been through, we both deserve to see this thing hit the road looking that good. Oh, good. <clears throat> Patty just wrote at like Dale. So I'm guessing that's the person who left the super chat. Thank you, like Dale. I appreciate it, even though I missed it. Shower scene. Okay, I'm done. Cruz, you can have the rest. Okay. Oh. Okay, guys, hold on. 
Let me move the chat window so I can see what you guys see. Look at the drool hangers. You see the drool hangers? Look at them. Get it, buddy. Get it. Oh, yeah, bro. It's all over his face. Look at it. <laughs> He's like, Dad, don't take it away. He's my little dishwasher. Dude, you're drooling everywhere, bro. <laughs> okay, last one. Not bad, bro. Not bad. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Let me clean up. Hey, bro. You need some wet wipes. Excuse me. <coughs> And cruise you a drill all over the floor, pal. All right. <clears throat> Good to go. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm doing this on my laptop. It's fun when you do these live streams on my cell phone because then I can move it around a bit. But when you move it around the cell phone of the, the laptop, it's a bit cumbersome. I didn't miss any super chats, did I? Uh, Andrew, a lot of these questions were answered earlier. Any updates on the tuner? It'll be here tomorrow. Wheel alignment already done. Wheels are straight. <laughs> Freddie Beach Barbecue. Cruzy has crazy meat curtains. Yeah, he does. The big flappy ones. I love it when my moderators delete messages because I get curious. Oh, there's no reason to delete that. Someone said Patty deleted a message. Patty, the message is, looks nice to me. When am I coming to Washington? <laughs> oh, come on. Sorry, guys. Lost my chat. Lost my chat. Chat pop up. We good? You know what I noticed? I noticed that when I pop up my chat, I lose some of my... Some of my super chats. Phoenix Adventures, thank you so much for that. Chrome and Crazy Rocks. Iron Wolf just gifted a membership, which was given to M. So congratulations, M. I love it, man. That's so sweet when you guys gift memberships. That's a beautiful thing. I have voted to fixing your van. It looks awesome. You know, it's been oddly satisfying is even for Lauren, too that we read so many comments during this whole breakdown and a lot of really negative stuff about people saying I was so stupid for putting money into this van. It was the dumbest thing that I ever did. Just loaded full of them. And uh, yeah, I was, I'm not the guy to listen to other people. I'm the kind of guy that just does whatever I feel is right in, to me, you know what I mean? Because well, I'm not here to do someone else's life, but to sit there and watch everybody tell me just to get rid of this piece of shit, that it was just a piece of junk. Why am I putting money into it? So it was oddly satisfying to do all this work to this vehicle and have it come out looking this good and have that engine crank first start, just boom, boom. There was no question, no hesitation, no trying to run, no rocking motor. It literally started smooth right out the gate. It was really fun because there was so much hate in the comments towards the engine and stuff too. And I could probably count 500 comments from people over a month saying that this engine swap won't work. This engine swap won't work. The engine swap won't work. So it was hella satisfying when it cranked over and going, it worked. It worked. What? Look, he's so cute. Cruzy, you're so cute up there, bro. Uh, what do you need? He's, so, he's like, I want more. I gave you some, buddy. Is that not enough? Is that not enough? You want some more treats? Okay. My dog is such a diva. Well, Cruzy, a subscriber gave you these, buddy. Okay, we'll give you four. 
Hold on, buddy. Hold on. People want to see you. Did you even chew it? Look at the drool just dripping. Hold on, bro. It's like I never feed this guy. Ah! At least he sits. Look at him. He's so freaking cute. Okay, that's it. Guy needs some food. Van Moose, I bought stickers two years ago and finally stuck them to my steering wheel. Van Moose, you'd be, uh, you be happy to hear that my stickers are no longer $5 USD each. I'm selling them for $3 Canadian. Do you realize that my stickers are 3 bucks? That means they're $2.30 US or something crazy per sticker. It's nuts. I got emails from a few YouTubers that are like, how, how dare you do that? We're selling stickers at five or ten bucks. You're selling them for three bucks Canadian? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> giving you guys some deals. It's more fun for me on the sticker world to know that my stickers are all over the place, that these stickers are on sides of vans, on laptops, where people are in the stores. It's just it makes me happy to, to know that people have got my stuff bombed everywhere. Chrome, am I going to put a light on my license plate? Yes, the lights have arrived on my license plate. And once I decide what I'm going to do for uh, brake lights and my back bumper, uh, for my brake lights, my blinkers, then I will decide. Then I'll probably run all the cabling at the same time to the lights on my license plate. Thanks for reminding me about that. I'm going to throw that in my phone, actually. I got a big reminder thing on here for... <clears throat> I got a reminder list of things that I need. Lights on license plate. My big to do list. JC747, thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks for all the content and keeping us entertained. You're very, very welcome. I am really excited right now to start making videos like we used to make videos that I was proud of videos that I got to put all my heart into, you know, doing voiceovers and drones and getting cool shots and lighting campfires and the things that I love to do. I can't wait to get back to making those because honestly, these last five months, those edits are hard sometimes to sit there and relive a day that I just wish I wasn't inside my shop. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's nothing worse. So I'm I'm excited to start soon, soon, you guys. Get back to making good old Van City Van Life content. Do I use a gimbal stabilizer? No. This is actually my camera rig. This right here is the camera rig that I run around with on the daily. This thing. All it is is a... There's the brand. It's a Neewer. Neewer? Yeah, it's a Neewer um, tripod. It's a cool little tripod. It's a little bit bulky and heavy, but I actually really like it. And this is a, whatever that word is, it's a metal cell phone holder. I don't use an external mic, but if you did, you could screw the external mic to the top. And I run and gun with an iPhone 15. It's great. It works awesome. I don't mind this setup at all. Like if I'm talking and I'm holding the camera, I just hold it like this. And then the rest of the time I just use a tripod. And the cool thing is the tripod's got these leg extenders. So if I want an actual legit tripod, I got a legit tripod. It's not very big, mind you, but yeah. Ah, uh, Jared and Maddie, what's up, you guys? Welcome to the live stream. Hey, Jared, I got your text message a long, 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 long time ago. I read it and I'm like, oh, I'll message him back later. And I think got busy. I threw it down and I never replied. It's still in my phone. Oh my gosh. I should text you, bro. I see you guys are doing good out there. Uh, I think the I think the name of their they have a van building company in Ontario called Vancini. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the company. Uh pretty cool. And I hear they're doing some pretty big things out there right now, building some crazy beautiful sprinters. 
which is pretty wild. So, uh, Jared and Maddie, if I come out there, I'm probably going to do an East Coast trip, not this summer, but next summer. I think I'd love to do another coast to coast trip. I go from rock to rock. So, go from the island on one side of Canada, this one, eh, Vancouver Island, to the island on the other side of the Canada, uh, Canada which would be Newfoundland. So, I think I'm going to do that, not this season, next season. And when I do that, Jared and Maddie, maybe we'll come by. I'd love to make a video at your guys' place. What's up, Andy? Overland Interiors is in the house. He, okay, so I know a lot of you guys don't watch everybody's videos, but Andy from Overland Interiors right now is putting an interior into Jeffy Bear's vans. You all know Jeffy Bear. You guys fundraised a crazy amount of money to buy Jeffy Bear a van and get all the little wheelchair driving things in it. Now he's over at Overland Interiors getting a home built on the inside. Andy, appreciate you giving Jeffy all that love and stuff over there. So if you guys are Instagram people, go over and follow Overland Interiors on Instagram. Um, he'll have all the cool stuff that he's doing over there on, a, on, his, on his Instagram page. Is it snowing on the island? Yeah, little baby snowflakes, but yes, it is snowing. What's up, Jeff from Detroit? Deborah just said it's snowing, it's raining on the island. So um, I just got a text message from somebody on the island here saying it's snowing in Nanaimo. And over here, I'm on, I'm, I'm a little bit farther out. I'm more in the Parksville area. Um, little tiny baby, baby snowflakes. <clears throat> Is it going to snow, snow? I'm hoping not. Did I miss Bart Borg's comment? Yeah, clearly. I, uh, I don't, it's hard to read every single comment. So I usually just let the comments go. When I'm done talking, I look back over, grab another one and keep talking. Ryan says it's snowing in Kelowna, BC. Crazy. The Lost Marble Lady, thank you so much for the super chat. I love your channel name, by the way. That's a really cool name. I appreciate the love. Brian says it's du it dumped snow in Seattle, which isn't far from here. Seattle's just across the border. Well, we're on the island, so it is a little bit farther from here. But from Vancouver itself, yeah, it's just across the border. It's not that that far. Uh, do I ever use a GoPro? If so, do I like it? No. And yes. But no, if I'm doing anything face to face, I am definitely not going to use a GoPro. I would rather use an iPhone. I've been using iPhone on my channel since the beginning. The image quality just works. You know, it captures good audio. The image is good and clear. It's really good on stabilizing your shots. You don't need a freaking fancy gimbal, which is such a waste of money. Gimbals are a waste of money. So don't go out and buy one. I just find just learn to hold your camera still. Um, but yeah, I don't use the only time I use a GoPro is if I'm out there in the bush and I need some action shots where I can mount the GoPro to the underside of the van, maybe one to the top side of the van, tuck a few in a tree or something like that to capture a unique angle. But other than that, I don't use GoPros for everyday filming iPhone all day. Seventy three degrees in Detroit today. <clears throat> Someone just said membership to what? Probably YouTube membership. I don't know what the conversation was you guys were having, but YouTube memberships, which is here. So if you click the join button below any of my YouTube videos, it allows you to join YouTube memberships where I do like posts and stuff, keep up to people up to date in real time. How soon are you gonna start gonna start working on the ambulance next winter? This van sucked all my money that was gonna go into the ambulance, sucked it right out of that project. So next winter, I can't afford it right now. Hey, want to let you know I'm working on getting my learner's license right now and coming up your way. I'm going to get a truck and sliding camper. Wicked. Chocolate syrup overdose just says Canadians. Love it. 
Pilgrim Pace. Hey, Chrome. I'm, I was a moderator for about two years, and then I wasn't. What happened? So Pilgrim Peace, I will actually do that right now. I don't know if I can do that. Can I do that from here? So Pilgrim Peace, make a comment, comment, like a regular comment. And I'll add you as a moderator. I think I can do that direct from the comments right here. So I actually went through... I'm waiting for your comment. Um, I actually went through and cleaned out a bunch of my moderators because we had so many moderators in there. And I'm like, look, let's just cut it back to a handful and then re-add them from there. So what was happening is I was getting people that were getting removed from my channel. And, you know, like people that have been around here for a long time are just getting tossed all the time. So what I did is I ended up getting rid of all the people in there that I didn't see. Hold on. Pilgrim, Pilgrim Peace, I got you here. Add as moderator. There you go, Pilgrim Peace. You're a moderator again. So what I did is I went through and I wiped out everyone just to kind of like, cause I didn't know who it was. Maybe somebody was a fan of my channel when I made him a moderator. Maybe they stopped becoming a fan. All of a sudden they started just knocking people out. So I said, you know what? Forget it. I cleared them all out. I kept a handful that I've, that I see in my streams all the time, but I went crazy. I just deleted everybody. And then uh, now we're just going to rebuild the comment moderators back up because being a comment moderator is a big deal because I'm giving you guys the power to full on block people from never commenting again. So <clears throat> yeah. Urbex Overland. I just added you as a moderator. Done deal. If you need more moderators, I'm down. Done deal. Standard moderator. Yep, done. Done deal. So all the moderators you'll see will have a wrench beside their name. But yeah, I uh, because like like that's a fair amount of power to give somebody. You know what I mean? They got a chance to just like wreck the channel at that point. You know what I mean? Patty is the bomb. Patty's been around my channel for a very 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 long time, and she's. She's always active in, in my live streams, always active in my comments. I really appreciate you, Patty, in a big way. Hi, Cruzy. Oh, give me some loving, buddy. Give me a buddy. Come here, bro. Give me a bro. Uh -huh. When people actually see how big you really are, you're a big meathead, bro. Yes, you are. I thought you wanted love. Now you, he's like, don't touch me, Dad. I thought you wanted love. No kiss. Kiss. Please don't, don't kiss me, Dad. That's not very manly. <laughs> Gabrielle, best crew ever. You got that right. I'll tell you something, man. I think in all of YouTube, in the van life world, I think this little crew that we got around us is probably hands down the best community ever. And that spans from me into all the other channels that surround me. You know, you got the crew that follows Jeffy Bear, the crew that, that follows Bruce from Bruce. Why did I stumble on that? Bruce Van Life Jr just such a good crew you know there's so much love around here and anytime i meet somebody new like mike the electrician um, that from from the new shop every time i meet somebody new they're like chrome i went into your comments man people there's so much love in there i hear that all the time from people that there's just such a good community here and it's probably one of my favorite parts about sharing my life on youtube is the community that we've built on this channel since the very beginning and I think that community just comes from like me being honest about everything, just me being raw and real and not caring what anybody thinks. Some people call me cheese. I don't give a crap. I uh, sometimes you gotta you gotta be yourself, right? I think it's just that 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 true being yourself part that's built such a community here. It's kind of brought a lot of like-minded people close to me, and it's been really great. 
Why don't I name my van? I never did because I always found naming your vans kind of cheesy. That's is a me thing anyway. But now I have an engine in here from Alabama. That's where it came from, Alabama. So maybe the, the joke kind of went around with Ford down there that I should call this the Southern Bell. Because <laughs> literally it's powered by my by a Southern Bell. So I just call her my bad bitch. <laughs> I honestly do. She's a, she definitely freaking stands her ground tough and strong for sure. Oh, Bart Borg. Thanks for the super chat. Hey, Chrome. Hope all is well. I just did the same thing. Motor swap. Oh, no way. 4.6 to a 5.4 took six weeks. Had the same issues getting parts. Also had issues with the tune. Did you figure, did you figure yours out? Bart, can you email me at chrome at vancityvanlife.ca? It's just my name at my YouTube channel, .ca. Be cool. It's awesome that you did it. So we haven't gone through the tuning part yet, but I actually do have a question for you if you've just did that swap. Did you do it in a Ford Econoline or was it in like a truck or something like that? Forget it. Forget it, Bart. Uh, email me, bro. I'd, I'd love to talk about this. This would be awesome because I do have a few more little questions. So. Uh, Joey, hey, how are you? Love your vibe and videos. Wicked, Joey. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing really good. Come on, man. We got 1,400 people in on this live stream. That is awesome. But that's pretty cool to hear somebody else did, did the engine swap. That'd be even cooler if it was done in a Ford Econoline. That would be super awesome. What are your thoughts about van life in a tropical country? Giver. I think van life is amazing anywhere. I don't know, you know, I don't know what it's like. I've never done van life in a tropical country, but that'd be pretty damn sweet. I could see the van being a little bit, little bit warm, but. <laughs> Call your van the Bama banger. <laughs> I like it. Oh, crazy's. Listen to him. He's in a huff. You guys even see him? He's biting the bed. <laughs> he's in a, he's just in a huff. What's up, wild hair? Welcome to the live stream. Someone's in here from Wilmer, Alabama. Yeah, my engine was purchased from Buster Miles Ford in Alabama. The guys were really great over there. Uh, Tony Rice, I started watching three years ago. Wicked, man. <laughs> People have thrown out names for, for my for my van now. Now that, oh, Vanna White. Um, that's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know about naming my van. Any word on t-shirts? Yes, Jules, t-shirts arrived today. Um, I, I showed you guys a sneak peek. That'll be in tomorrow's <laughs> video. Um, yeah, t-shirts did arrive today. Give, it's going to take some time for us to fold up. We got to clean up the shop first to get rid of all the dust and dirt. Then uh, it's going to take a couple days to get some product photos, get them folded, and get them posted. So give it about a week. But shirts arrived today. Urbex Overland has been here since 2019. Wicked. Robert Shields Jr., thank you. How about Van City Campground someday? Um, what are you talking about doing like a meetup at a campground? That's a great idea. Uh, I see uh I see Lauren. Is that how you pronounce your name? Lauren? Uh, Lorene, Lauren, Lorene. Um, 
I should know that, man. She's been on my YouTube membership for a long time. Uh, she answered a question. Aaron, the Ford Canada, the Ford in Canada isn't able to have some parts. So, yeah, so I didn't read the whole thing. So I'm guessing she was answering a conversation with somebody about why I didn't deal, deal with Canada. Ford in Canada, all they told me every time I called them was, sorry, discontinued. When I called Ford in Calgary to inquire about buying a remanufactured engine, they're like, no, they don't make those for your van. And then every time I called for parts out here, they're like, sorry, that part's discontinued. Sorry, you can't get that. Sorry, that's an unavailable. That was been that's been not available for your van for years. Then one of my subscribers, Tom, which was working at uh, he's not there anymore, which was working at Buster Miles Ford at the time in Alabama. He's like, dude, we got remanufactured engines just down the way here in the warehouse. What do you want? And every time I called him, he says, Yeah, we got we got tons of those in our system. I'm like, Canada kept telling me, nope, 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 nope. So they're a whole different beast down there. They uh, So now we bought all our parts we needed for this thing. Most of them came out of the USA, which is a part of the main reason why we had such a big delay on parts is because Canada kept saying, nope, discontinued. We had to order it from the States, which meant we had to deal with borders and all those duties and fees to get it here. That's what caused a major part of this five-month setback, setback of the, my van was parts. Because every time you needed one, that was a whole new week. Yeah. Yeah, we had to get everything from the States. Panda Life, thank you for that. Much love from Rick Remix. Rick Remix, Ride and Die Trying. Wicked. I appreciate the love, man. Big time. Chrome, are you putting an RV step or an electric, an electric running step for cruise? No. So I used to have a ramp on the side of my van, but then this guy, he he would he would he would run down it, but would never go up it. Sorry, he would run up it, but never go down it. He would run up it, but then he would jump right out. Chrome, what's the email? I didn't catch that. Chrome, C H R O M E at vancityvanlife.ca. I appreciate it, Bart. Sorry you had to throw in super chats just to get my attention. It's hard when the comments go by so quick. Uh, Robert Shields, purchase a campground, call it Van City. Um, yeah, I that's a lot of money to buy dirt. Won't be buying that here, I'll tell you that. To own enough property to put a campground on this island, I would have to be five mil into that property. No kidding. No, buying out here is just not an option. It's a cool idea, though. Outdoors Dreadhead, what's up? Kitty Wolfress from Reno, from Reno, Nevada, what's up? Listen to him, he's just been, been whiny. He's a drama king. Can you guys hear him? <laughs> Annie, I'm going to come out probably, this is at least the thought anyway. I'm going to do an East Coast trip, not this summer, next summer. Uh, Aaron Malone says you should slow down your chat like Bruce did. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, then if you slow down the chat, you're going to miss all the current ones, right? And, like, the problem with, like, do, slowing down the chat is then, you you know, like, it stops the, stops the like, the conversation from going so quick. You know what I mean? I like that little bit of a quickness because then otherwise you, you time out for 60 seconds before you can make another comment. It's good. It slows it down a little bit, but it also cuts back from everybody being able to throw out stuff or have conversations together. I've slowed down a few of them before, and I sometimes I just love the chaos. <laughs> What's your last meal? My favorite meal. I don't know if I had to choose one last meal. I think it'd just be breakfast. Bacon, eggs, hash browns, and toast. I they used to be my thing. I'd get up and go for breakfast all the time. Like on the weekends, I'd call the boys, we'd go out for breakfast. I haven't gone for breakfast in a long time. 
Sounds like he's dying back there. You guys hear that? What? <laughs> I heard you back there being a drama king. Hey, you just not getting enough love? Is that it? You just not getting enough love? Love what we do there, bro. Get back there. There we go. Hey, that what you wanted? That what you wanted? Use some little belly rubs. Hey, don't bite my arm. I'm giving you love, bro. He just sits back. He's such a drama king, just like whining. Hey, hold on, bro. Daddy's got you, buddy. Daddy's got you, bro. Hey, daddy's got you, bro. That was a pretty little face. Look at his face. <laughs> hey. Hey, is that what you wanted? You happy now? Are you happy now? Yeah. <laughs> Such a diva. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, my favorite song, I don't really have one. I think if I'm going to have to go back to just a song that always comes to my head all the time, it's Tritonal Now or Never. That's like... Back, I used to run a radio show. Like I had a two-year-long uh, radio show. We produced it every single week. It was a three-year-long dance music show. Um, they, uh, I, the most song I played the most was Tritonal, Now or Never. Beautiful. Look at that smile. See, he's happy. Look at that smile. That's the face of a dog that's about to mess me up if I stop rubbing his belly. What do you think about a box truck to live in opening to the back? I think box trucks are cool. I think if you're the kind of person who likes to spend a lot of time on the pavement, box trucks beautiful. Lots of space. Um, I got a few friends who've who've built box trucks over the years. Raj Monkey Mechanic, thank you for that. Been watching you for years. Stay positive, bro. Thanks. I appreciate it. Over this uh, breakdown of my van, it's been hard to stay positive, man. I've had some, just being in that shop so much was just wearing on the on the head. It was it was hard to turn my camera on and be positive. It's I missed being able to freedom to move somewhere. What's wrong, bro? I was rubbing your belly. Is that not enough for you? What do you want? You want your chin too? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Tell me what you want. What do you want? Whoa. Oh, I knew it's coming. You all thought it was a smile. Dude. Oh, bro. Whoa, get out of here, bro. Get. <laughs> You're a little sweet boy. Little sweet boy. <clears throat> okay, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Are you done? Bro. <laughs> oh, not the pillow. Not the pillow. Oh, damn. Don't start that. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. Okay. Okay, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Okay, calm down. Let me rub your belly. Calm. Breathe. Breathe a little. Bro. <laughs> Are you good? My goodness. Yeah, he's fast when he wants to be. This little, this little bugger's got some get up and go. <laughs> he's got a couple minutes of play time and then he's out. What did I feed him? That's the problem. I haven't fed him. I think he just wants some dinner. 
Are you getting a Cruise the Boss t-shirt? Yeah, we have a few Cruise t-shirt ideas coming coming up pretty soon. We're waiting until we get into this place before we start really doing some more shirts. Because we just don't have room at the other shop. Like, I just, I just finished making a huge order of these ones. Of the Van City Van Life ones and the What's Up Weirdos Long Sleeves. And we ordered tons of the bigger sizes and they just barely sold. So we've sold some, but... So there, there's just so much stuff sitting over there. The other shop's getting really too too full. So here's a little bit different. We'll have some room to to store some shirts, but <laughs> I'm gonna need some Van City Van Life Kevlar shirts when playing with Cruz. Yeah, sometimes he can get a little rough. Uh, Suzanne wants a double V shirt. Those are coming for sure. I put your sticker on my car. Let me know if you want to see. Of course. You, you can email me that. If you have a picture, you can email it to me at, uh, at chrome at vancityvanlife.ca. Mikey M. My van is your sister van. You did a brief van tour when it was at J5. Just came back from five weeks in Mexico. Any thoughts of going south? Yeah, I don't have any thoughts about going into the USA right now. I think for me, there's a lot going on here at the new shop and my shop stuff in the winter times that I really enjoy my winters here. And uh, I, I Canada calls me in the summertime. So until the USA starts calling me, I know you guys call me all the time. Whoa, bro. Okay, whoa. Bro. Bro. That's not bro. <laughs> okay. Are you good? Well, you shouldn't have put my whole hand in your mouth. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, bro. Hey, stop playing so rough. Okay, we're good. <laughs> you guys see that? He full on headed into the pillow. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Are you good? Are you good? Ow, get out of here. Okay, what's enough? Bro. Get here, buddy. Get it. <laughs> He's so funny these days. He's been so active in these live streams. Hey, for the longest time, you guys were like, "I your live streams suck without Cruz. Now he's all up in them. Hey, you're all up in them. Get back there. He's heavy, too. This guy's like 65 pounds. He's not light. <laughs> Thankfully, his playtime is a little bit. Then he, then he needs some rest. <laughs> okay, don't mess up the pillow. Don't mess up the pillow, bro. <laughs> okay, we're done, bro. Done. That's it. Done. You good? Gosh, you silly boy. Are you good? <laughs> Not a funny boy. <laughs> oh, somebody gifted somebody a membership. This is what happens when I play with a dog. Who gifted who? So cool. I missed it. Oh, I can't find it. Ah, Cruzy, I'm missing people gifting things to other people. People gifting things to you too, bro. <laughs> Is Lauren working in the new shop when it's open? Yeah, we'll talk about all that stuff when the time comes. But yeah, he'll be doing some stuff around here. For sure. It's definitely dinner time for sure for him. The lady, aka Robin, just gifted a YouTube membership. Who's gonna get it? 
Oh, Sue Bishop. Sue Bishop was gifted it. That's cool. Well-rounded. So how is van life? Van life is absolutely awesome. <laughs> okay, Cruzy. How long until you're in the second floor of the new shop? Like, so the upstairs section is, well, the, the down, the upstairs section of the shop is coming along quite well. The mudding guys, the guys that are the finishing of the drywall, um, I think is done tomorrow. They are boarding up the bigger shop sign. That should be done tomorrow, I think. And then next week, they're knocking in the two garage doors. So things are moving along quite fast around here. So cool. Uh, Butch Cassidy, the wheel alignment has been done on the van. That's all finished. What made you get a dog, i.e. Disco? I just love the bulldog breed. They're just so freaking cute. And normally, they're lazy. Not this guy. This guy's a bundle of, like, he's a freaking spaz. I just love the bulldog breed. They're just they're just a good dog. Are you good, Cruzy? Hey. Are you good? Hey, you guys, everybody on the internet's watching you right now. There's like 1400 people watching you be that way. You know that? You don't care. You don't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. Hey! <laughs> Get out of here. Get! Ah! 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 <laughs> I got you, buddy. Mwah. What are you going to do? Mwah. Nothing. Right? I got you by the face. I'm kiss you all I want. You know, I can't turn away. Hey. Okay, okay, bro, bro. bro. Hey, he's on round three now. <laughs> Crazy. The bulldog knows. Oh, yeah. You can't, you, you, you can't help but love this mushy face. Poor Cruzy is starving. He is very hungry. Can I put a hint into Wild Tech Designs for lowering kits? Just take a couple leaves out, bro. Go buy those uh, the leaf spring shackle extensions so it'll just drop the back down a little lower and chop some coils out the front, bro. It's the cheapy way. How's the engine tuning? We'll find out tomorrow. All that stuff will be in tomorrow. Cruzy, are you good? <laughs> bro, go in the front, bro. <laughs> what about the front? Chop the coils. Go take a grinder out there and chop some coil. Chop some coils out of there, bro. Are tires to count as van toys? Of course they are. Any Anything you attach to your van is considered a van toy. At least that's how I look at things anyway. Because anytime I've ever bought wheels, still toys for my van. <laughs> Jeffy Bear needs a fuel tank attached. Why does he need a fuel tank attached? Jeffy's pretty much going to be sticking on mainly pavement. And if he's going out to the back country, I don't think he's going to go too far. You know what I mean? He's got to, he knows that he's got to be careful on, on how far he goes out because for safety reasons. Why aren't I vegan? Cause I like meat. Why aren't you a carnivore? Same kind of question. <laughs> I like bacon. That's why. <clears throat> uh, Jeff needs 
fuel in his heater attached. Yeah, he can find somebody in Ontario out there that can do that. Putting his, I think he, I don't know, maybe if he bought the diesel one, then I'm not sure. But if he bought the gasoline one, he should be able to get somebody in Ontario to tap his gas tank. You got to remember, he's in Ontario. I'm way the heck out here. Lowly's Offroad's in here. What's up, brother? <laughs> and now everybody's talking about meat. <laughs> That's funny. So hilarious, you guys. What's my favorite hobby? I don't really making making videos. <laughs> it's my favorite hobby. <laughs> Someone just sent me a message saying, "Hey, is that I shit in a bucket shirt coming onto a shirt?" <laughs> uh, I did actually have that on a shirt a long time ago. Maybe we'll bring it back. Maybe I'll bring back the stickers though for sure. The problem with those is that when you get um. Calm down, bro. When you get a design that has <clears throat> that much, look at the hair on me from Cruz, that has that much design in it, like a design, they're harder to print. Like when it comes to silk screening them, they're just, they, they become not an option. There's too many colors and too much design. Yeah. Someone just said DJing is my hobby. No, DJing is just who I am. I've been a DJ my whole life and I will, I'll always, I'll always say I'm a DJ and a YouTuber. I don't consider DJing a hobby. It's just an extension of me. Uh, training pause. Thanks for that. Love you. Love you and big, big hug and kisses. Appreciate the love. Do I use digital transfers for my shirts? No, all my shirts that are up for sale right now are all silk screened. <laughs> Do my shirts come with a sample of cruise hair? If you're lucky, there's the, we usually take a lint roller to all the shirts as we're folding them at the shop to ensure that there's no dirt or dust or hair because they are being shipped out of my shop. And uh, sometimes I, we've had one person say, I got one of Cruz's hairs. Big possibility. Patiently waiting for the What's Up Weirdos t-shirt. They arrived today. They'll be on the store within a week. Uh, Shannon, great to hear that you like your shirt. That's awesome. Uh, Tom says, I, I need, I need, you guys want to see what's going on on the other side of here? That's my sock. You know, you think he's being quiet. He's just literally chewing my sock. Look at him. Do you mind? Bro, do you mind? <laughs> this guy is telling me, Dad, you need to stop this live stream like right now and go get me some food. <laughs> Look at his face. He heard the, he heard the word. He knows what that F-O-O-D word means. <clears throat> How to stay cool in the tropics doing van life? Butch, that's a question I can't answer because I don't live in the tropics. But I know when it's really hot here, the key is to drive high into the mountains because it's way cooler up there. So I don't know. You know, I think I think if you're van lifing in a tropical area, you got humidity, which unless you're really used to humidity, I think the humidity could be really hard to, to bear through. Because I know we were on the East Coast a few years back and the humidity was pretty, pretty thick out there for about a week. And it's gets unbearable in when you're sleeping in the van at night, it's unbearable. I would rather have a minus 20 winter day than a hot, humid summer night in a van, hands down. Winters are way easier to van life in because it's easy to heat your van in the summertime when it gets sticky and super hot. It's miserable. That's the time when you want to tap out and get a hotel for a week just to have some nice cool air and feel cozy and sleep well. That's funny because a lot of people would think it's the opposite way around. It's not. It's, it's hands down winters are better to van life in. <clears throat> 
unless you're in a place that's minus 30, minus 40, I, I could see that being a little different. At that point, get in your van and drive away from it, Bruce Van Life Jr. <laughs> when it's cold, get the heck out. Run! How about EcoFlow air conditioner? So I, I, I know so many people have got those things. And believe it or not, Emily, she never put it in a video, but Emily got a unit. I don't think it was the EcoFlow one, but got one of those Easy Breeze or whatever they are, the air conditioning units for vans. And it sucked sucked big time it was the dumbest thing like she's like i'm not making a video with this product and she ended up sending it back to the company it was garbage like all it did was blow cool air what the heck is that gonna do you can get cool air by just turning your fan on <laughs> you don't need to have this big power sucking unit for that if it's a real air conditioner like pulls the humidity out of the air in your van sure i could see that working but yeah, summertime, you could talk all you want about it, but staying cool in the summer is just, it's hard. Uh, Suzanne, thank you. Suzanne said, welcome home, my friend. I am Steve. Can you, can I, you give me a haircut? I gave myself a haircut today. If you're a barber, I'll let you cut my hair. But I cut my hair usually once a week. It looks okay. I just take my trimmers to it. Chrome, didn't you talk to the American nomadic fanatic? No, I've never spoken to him. Uh, did you get the winch in an extra fuel tank? The winch will be going in probably next week. Um, and my extra fuel tanks won't be coming in until probably sometime before I leave on my summer travels. I, am I still parked in my shop? So I don't have to sleep in my shop anymore and I'm not sleeping in my shop tonight. Um, last night I slept at Costco tonight. I'm really not too sure. Somewhere though. Not in the shop. I'm done. Like, I'm done living in my shop. I'll cut your hair. I'm a dog groomer. You want to cut my hair? <laughs> you can cut Cruzy. Cruzy doesn't need a haircut. You can trim his paw hair, though. <laughs> shops are for wrenching not for sleeping you got that right <clears throat> chrome am i gonna carry fridge magnets probably not you know i don't i don't know if there's be a huge demand in people buying fridge magnets if there was like i think i've heard two people ask me for that where's cruzy he's he's down lying on the ground i think he's about to pass out I think he's had enough playtime. Well, will I come back to Quebec? Yeah, not this year. Maybe next year when I do an East Coast trip. At least that's my thoughts anyway. All right, you guys. I'm going to let you go here because some little puppy of mine needs some food. And I am downright starving still, even though I ate those four yogurts. Just want to thank everybody for coming by on the live stream today. I appreciate all you guys' time. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow, the tuner comes in. And then uh, hopefully we'll find out tomorrow if uh, if that solves everything in the engine and we are get the free good to go to hit the road for sure. That's all we're waiting for right now, guys. So keep coming back and finding out if this is uh, this is happening. I just want the good and go. I, I just want everything to, to feel good and the mechanic to say, we're done. That's it. Let's go camping. And I'm hoping that happens very, very soon this week, please. I do know the tuner guy is here to give me a hand with anything we need to rewrite tunes until we get it right, until we get it feeling like it should be feeling. 
So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see all of you on the next one. Feels so good to be back living in this van. And I want to thank you guys for well supporting me through all of this last five months of different content on this channel. I appreciate the love, everyone. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you on the next one.